Okay, some people had some questions about disabling some of the notifications for the seatbelt. I'm gonna try this out on the 23 Super Duty and see if this works. So I have to wait for the seatbelt light to come on. And now I want to plug in four times. One, two, three, four. It's blinking, see that right there? I'm thinking that means it's complete. Let's check and see if that worked. So I'm gonna turn the truck on. I'm gonna turn this off. Unplug the seat belt. Truck is asleep now. Shut the door. Let's start the truck up and see what happens. Look at that, it worked. It disabled the front one, that is awesome. Okay, so now I'll just do the additional seats. All right, now let's try, let's see if this works. Okay, go ahead. One, two, three, disconnect. Try one more time. Disconnect. It's blinking. Awesome. That's going to work. Okay, plug it in now. Okay, start the truck up. All right, let's see what happens here. Turn the system off again. All right, firing up. Okay, closing down. Now let's see what happens here. You dis disconnect your seatbelt now. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if this is gonna give a notification or not. Two. Awesome, yours is off. See how it's not green there? See on the dash? Yeah. It doesn't recognize your seatbelt now. It's great. See, watch, watch, I'll disconnect mine. It doesn't, it doesn't recognize, see how yours now came up? Yeah. Okay, so I disabled the seatbelt chime but you still get the notification and the blinking thing on the dash, which is not a big deal. <clears throat> but you also, you also can't remove that. So if you want that off while you're driving down the road for doing something, not recommending take your seatbelt off, but you can't get that part off. But you can disable the chime, which is nice. I'm just in a campground going to get some wood right now. So at least I don't have to, actually, I was able to get it off. Look at that, cool. So you can, you can actually do it. I guess if you speed up, nice, seatbelt's off.